I can't lie. I have the spike. I've learned a lot of ways to utilize silver on icebox. A lot of ways. There's so many different lineups or darts or whatever. More recon darts than anything. First one I'm gonna show you is quite ludicrous. Is the, the most the most insane one of all of these is standing right here. Right here. Specifically here. Looking up here. Where this line is. Just roughly in the middle where this little white line is. Two bounties and one full charge. Revealing area. And I'm gonna just cut to where this goes because chasing it's just gonna be a bitch. I I've this right here. This is what it lands on. I've had a lot of reactions after I've done this in a real game and people have been like, what the f- Now there is one similar, I don't think it lands on the exact spot, but there is a bit of an easier one, so you don't need to find the specific the bit. You stand right in this corner, and you, and you look at this corner of the box, pretty much the box, this white box, just look right up at the top corner. And just to the, just to, just to the edge of it so that it doesn't hit the box, just line it up. Again, two bounties. We'll charge. Standing ahead. And it should roughly be in the same place. It is. It's on the glass instead of on this bit. Um, so if they start to figure out that you're doing this each round, just try this one. Because, I mean, it will land pretty much in the same place. It won't need to readjust too much. But it will throw them off a bit, I think. Anyway, that's the most ludicrous one. Because there's quite a few. The next one you want to stand in this, uh, in this corner. Right on the, um, on the, just at the barrel. Not this side, not to be mistaken for this side, right here. Um, obviously your teammates are going to need to watch mid, because if you've got enemy team that like to push mid a lot, then you might fucking die. Um, now this one's hard to explain. See if you look at this corner on this, on this thing here. Line up the, I mean, you can see it on my screen. I'll try and like snip it. Line up the line right on the edge of that. Just the UI at the bottom, the, the, the line just there. And send no bounties, just send two um revealing area. Uh, two charge. No bounce. And that will land. Clearing. Right here. Yeah. Clearing right here. here. I don't know if it gets up here. I'm pretty sure about that one. That's like a nice little B site lineup. There is another way to check close B, so when the barrier drops, you want to pretty much look for the first, the first one here, pretty much this one here, as soon as you can without over peeking. It's one bounce, full charge. Scanning ahead. And that will land up here, hopefully scanning anybody trying to look quite close. I do have one for here, so you want to stand on this box, one bounce, full charge at this light, just directly in the middle. Standing ahead. And that will go and land here for anybody peeking mid. The team will obviously see them be scanned and can peek this like, you know, they'll, they'll be scanned because of that. Right here. Somewhere up there. Next one, you need to um, come out a bit uh, into as if you're pushing A. And you want to find this wall. This wall right here. Roughly in the middle. So you've got this line, this line, and you've got the line in the middle. I'm gonna find that just anywhere up there, really. One bounce. Good charge. Revealing area. Yeah, and that will scan pretty close. I think you can obviously readjust so that it scans more. And it lands on this one more. Um, Revealing area. Anywhere roughly on there. Yeah, there we go. And that will scan again quite close. It's good information. The next one. I believe is going to be here. Similar to the last one. Uh, one bounce, two charge. Scanning ahead. And it's gonna land just above where they push out. Hopefully with the road already kind of pushed out before that dart lands. Then obviously again it's better intel. You are going to want to then move to here. This is another good one. And then just kind of hold W and walk right up to this. Until you get the view of that light here, it's pretty much the opposite to the one you did for mid on the opposite side. Uh, send one full bounce, revealing uh, one area full charge, and that's gonna scan up here. Which 
going to scan again. Anybody trying to push from mid one here? And I believe we flip up here. It's right there, just to the edge of that. This one's a little bit slower. Two bounce, two bars. Scanning ahead. And that's going to go directly onto the wall that they push from. So if they're just chilling back here, that's it. will kind of bounce off here and land right here. anywhere kind of here, really. Right here. And just scan the whole this. I don't think it obviously gets up here, but it's not quite a useful one to know, depending on who you're up against, how they play. Your, right here. The end of your bar, or like the line with the charge bar, right, roughly the top corner on that corner with this, like where it kind of goes in. And I think. Scanning ahead. And a half. Yeah, about that. Um, and this will scan again. Anybody coming from here, so you can still scan whilst you're rotating if you teammates to say that they're going B. The next one could be a recon, or oh, this is probably the only double shot that I fucking figured out. Um, I believe you need to this corner. Right here. Like that, and then you possibly one bounce full bar. Revealing area. Is that right. It is right. There we go. And that'll land on default plant. So let's say the spike is spike drop. planted there. Now I don't know what fucking situation you're gonna be in where you manage to loop back around to here. But if you're that type of player then fucking G fucking G to you because you know, that's just insane. If you manage to plant a spike and you're on the attacking side and you manage to get to here before anybody rotates or anybody sees you here. Then you send pretty much the same lineup, but with shotgun darts. Send two of them. So one bounce, full charge, lined up with that corner. Shock dart. Shock dart. And it will hit default. And then obviously by the time you've sent those, you obviously have time to peek out, hopefully, and just avoid here. And I think that's all of them. The only other one I was going to suggest was... Um, Wherever you plant a spike, just say like you plant a spike here. As long as, and I don't see this enough, as long as there's nothing directly above. I don't see solo players looking straight down at the ground, you know, sending like one bounce up and then sending another bounce up. Shock dart. You know, because if it's obviously right here, spike drop. And you've done that to buy time. You could even try and mix in another bounce somehow, because obviously that's only going to buy you so much time. I don't see silver players doing that much. Silver's darts, you know, you recon for your team, you're a, you're, a, you're, a, you're a good help to your team, but you also need to, if you're in a clutch situation. I don't know why I've not seen many silver players, many silver mains use that as a, a, a technique. Depending on obviously how much time, you could even do two bounces first. Um like this and then one bounce Shock dart. Spike this drop. is an example is what the first one's gonna come back down bounce go back up the second one that you sent off will come down and then after the other one will come back down again i don't know why this isn't done enough I, I've, I've not seen a lot of solo players do it that's just another one to top off just to finish off i have the spike again you know, I've got so sick of this map rotation. It is probably the worst map rotation we've had. Um, I got bored, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to learn a new agent. Let's learn Silver. I learned Silver because I watched a lot of Average Jonas content and decided I'll just learn whatever lineups are actually on, uh, like for maps in the current map pool. Um, it just appears that Icebox got 90% of those. Um, but there's still plenty. Plenty of silver lineups for Icebox that I've just kind of showed off if you want to give them a try. I really highly recommend. Again, I'm still learning silver. Hopefully that, uh, somebody learned something today. And, you know, I feel like now I need to go and shower or touch grass or something.